Okay, today's video is the one that you've all been waiting for. Arc length and sector area example problems. I know you all love your example problems. So uh, we've got quite a few here. For numbers three through eight, we're gonna find the length of each arc. Now I'm gonna try to get this moving pretty quickly because there are a lot of problems and I don't wanna make this video super duper long, but I might break it into two videos, we'll see. So let's look at number three. We're looking for the length of this arc all the way around and our angle is three pi over two. Now that's weird. It doesn't tell us whether it's in degrees or whether it's in radians. And um, here's something that you should probably note down. If there is no unit, you assume that it's radians. And that's why um, in the past, I've always asked you to make sure to put the degree mark anytime you mean degrees, because if you just don't put any mark at all, it's going to be assumed that you are in radians. So we are 3 pi over 2 radians. Now, here's a quick review. Arc length is the radius times theta when theta is in radians. When theta is in radians, you just have to take the angle and multiply it by the radius and you're done with the arc length. That's why we set radians to be the size that they are. So we may as well take advantage of that shortcut because that's what this is for. So the arc would equal the radius, which is 16 feet, times 3 pi over 2 radians. 16 is over 1. Remember, any whole number is actually a fraction, which is itself over 1. And 16 and 2 are both divisible by 2, so we get 1 on the bottom, 8 on the top. Multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, and we get 24 pi. And we're going to leave the answer exact this time. Let's move on. Number four, we are looking for this arc, which is made with this central angle, which is pi over six radians. Okay, well, same deal. Remember, arc equals the radius, which is 13 inches, times the angle in radians, which is pi over 6. I put the pi over 6 in parentheses just to remind myself that it's multiplication, but you don't have to. I don't see anything to, um, I don't see anything to cancel here. 13's prime. So our answer somewhat anticlimactically is 13 pi over 6. Oh, units. Square inches. Let's go back to the first one. 24 pi square feet. Can't forget those units. They're important. Okay, let's move on. This time we're not given a circle, we're just given a radius and a theta. And this theta uh, for number five is in degrees. So let's remind ourselves: in degrees, you have to take theta and divide it by 360. And again, that is theta in degrees. And you multiply that by 2 pi r. Man, radians make it so much easier.
Okay, so to solve this problem, we're gonna take 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees, and we're gonna multiply that by two times pi times the radius, which is 18. Now, 60 divided by 360 is 1 sixth. Try it out for yourself if you don't believe me. No, really, do it. And then we get 18 times 2, which is 36. Pi. Right, that's 2 times 18. And now uh, 6 and 36 are both divisible by 6. So we get 6 pi. 6 pi what? Centimeters squared, or centimeters. Ooh, I messed up my units in the past ones. That's embarrassing. But I'm going to leave it in because, once again, mistakes are okay. These are not square feet and square inches. I was jumping ahead to the area problems later. We are looking for the length of an arc, so this should have been inches and this should have been feet. Sorry about that. Okay, now let's see if I can section these off. Actually, yeah, let's see if I can section these off a little bit. Okay, so there's that problem. Let's go ahead and do number seven first and then we'll go over to the other side. We've got a radius of nine feet and an angle of seven pi over four in radians. Okay, so our arc length is gonna equal the radius, nine feet, times the angle in radians, seven pi over four. I don't see anything that cancels. 9 times 7 is 63, so you get 63 pi over 4 feet. Again, it is amazing how much easier this process is after we invent radians. So I'll give you a sec to take a look at those two. Pause the video if you need to. All right, let's move on. We've got two more. One is degrees, one is radians. I have a feeling we're gonna end up doing the same thing that we just did. Take a second, pause the video, look at your notes from the last two problems, see what you can do. The problem is exactly the same, but you're gonna have a couple of different numbers. Okay, let's give this a shot. So if the radius is 16 meters and theta is 75 degrees, then we get 75 over 360 times 2 pi times 16, right? 2 pi r. Okay, well, I'm seeing a lot of canceling that can happen here. I used a calculator to reduce that to 20 pi over 3 meters. If you don't remember how to reduce using common factors, it's a really good practice. So you should probably give it a shot. All right. One more, at least in this series. We've got a radius of 14 feet. We've got theta is 19 pi over 12. Okay, let's give this a shot. Arc, now we're in radians, which means we're using the simplified formula. So it's 14, the radius, times 19 pi over 12, the angle in radians. Um, 14 and 12 are both divisible by 2, so I get a 6 on the bottom and a 7 on the top. Who 7 times 19, let's see, 7 times 20 would be 140 minus 7, would be 133. I hope I got that right. 
The answer is 133. Man, I'm good at this. Okay. Uh, what were the uh, units on that? Feet. And again, since we're staying exact, we're just going to leave it like that. We could use a calculator to get a decimal if we wanted to, but nah. So that's our video for today, okay? Tomorrow, I will release a video with sector area, both in degrees and in radians. And we'll do that next time. As always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments or email me or show up to a Zoom meeting or do anything to reach out and contact me. I have plenty of time during the day, please ask me your questions. Not a lot of people have been showing up to my office hours and not a lot of people have been asking me questions via email. So I'm starting to worry about you all. So let me know if you need help. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.